Hello, and welcome to my bathroom. Um, I'm doing a photo shoot today with my good friend Mia, and she's a goddess, so I figured I would like make a video and kind of highlight her work and also what we're doing. Well, she described it as a Victorian gender fuck picnic. I do makeup all the time, but I don't know if I can get this look perfectly, so we're gonna play around with it. I'm gonna make my hair all curly. There's Lucy. How are you doing? You hungry? So I do makeup all the time. This is like a specific look, so I'll just kind of show you like the before and after and film a little bit while I'm getting ready. I'm kind of nervous because I'm gonna be wearing this really, really beautiful dress and it barely fits me, so if I move wrong, I don't wanna rip it and I don't wanna stain it. So this will be a really, uh, this will be a balancing act for sure. But I'm gonna start by getting my hair curly. Um, I'm kind of like a big human frizz right now. So I'm gonna do that first, and then we'll start with the makeup. The key to curly hair, which I just figured out, is good product. So apparently I was using like the worst products possible, but after you get out of the shower, you keep your hair upside down like this, and then you take a nice leave-in conditioner. But we're gonna take our product, and you go like this, and you start with your fingertips. And then you just kind of keep going until you get it into the scalp. But the reason for that is to not waste your product and like smoosh it all over in one spot. Okay, that was that. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Once you're seeing black spots from being upside down for so long and not being fit enough to handle that, then you let it dry. So that's gonna be drying. I'm gonna shave and like trim up some of this nonsense. I wanna keep this because like I said, it's a gender fuck, so it's not supposed to be like femme and cutesy, it's more like a weird mix. Hybrid, like femme mask weirdness. Start with primer. This isn't a tutorial, I'm just gonna like show you what's going on. Um, I love this primer, it's real nice, she's real thick, she fills in your pores, makes you skinny. This is my first time wearing a dress, actually. It's like in public. <laughs> So I'm not like embarrassed, I'm just like, damn, I haven't done that before. Okay. Um, once your pores are all filled in, look at all of these veins and zits and veins. We're gonna cover all that shit up. So this is my favorite, it's CC cream. Um, it's basically just BB cream with like SPF in it and it's like hella good. I just use my hands. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, don't do that. But. So yeah, once you cover up all of your ugly ass imperfections with CC cream, you're gonna have a nice base to play with. What I do need is a, one of those little makeup things that you put on your hair. It's like a little headband and it gets rid of your hair while you're doing your makeup. Because I can't see shit. So I'm looking ghosty pale. <laughs> I use this blending brush. It's the Morphe Y6. Don't judge me, I need to clean my brushes. I actually just cleaned them like two weeks ago, which is good for me. Coverage, coverage, coverage. After this, I'm gonna put on concealer. I might contour like lightly, but this look is mostly like a blush look. Once I get over to Mia's, she's gonna do my blush and my eyeshadow, cause I just don't wanna like mess up the look. But we'll just do the groundwork for her. Look at these veins. Is there a product that can just like get rid of those? Okay, if there's any problems, we can facetune that shit later. One of my friends was recently asking, well, a new friend, like why I like Portland, and I really like Portland because you can do shit like this, and like, genuinely nobody questions you. Like, I can wear makeup wherever I go, and I'll get like a look or two maybe, but besides that, like no one even, Half the people don't even know I have it on. I think a lot of people are just kind of like oblivious. And then the ones who do like don't care or they encourage it. So perk of living in Portland is a judgmental free space um, where you can just be kind of queer and like do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Chisel, honestly, yikes. Whatever. Cute. Highlight. Lighting, lightning dust, and fire crystal. They're not really my colors, but I dropped my old one. 
and it shattered everywhere and I didn't want to buy the same one, so I bought a new one. So you have like this like silvery tone and then you have like this more peach warm tone. So I use that because it matches my skin more. I also really like this Urban Decay Lid Primer Potion. It's really nice for hiding those veins I showed you earlier. They're already kind of hidden by the CC cream, but just for like a little insurance, we're gonna go in there again. Um, this is also tinted, so it has a really nice like base shade for your eyeshadow. Okay, so my hair is almost done and everything else is almost done. I'm just gonna put on some mascara and I'll do the blush, eyeshadow, and that's it at Mia's. And then we'll go ahead and shoot. So I'll bring you along for that and wish us luck. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just got to the shoot with Mia, who is actually Rose. We're going with Rose. <laughs> I had the wrong name. <laughs> We're like in the park right now, Hello. and there's a lot of little children in our shot back there, so I might go get in a fight. Just a quick fight with some kids. Yeah. Okay, so what was your idea behind the shoe? I'm very inspired by Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette <laughs> movie, um, just in general, in my whole life. Um, and then I've had this dress and this hat for a really long time, um, and I've kind of just been squirreling it away for something real special. And then I saw um, this beautiful photo on Reddit of um, this beautiful man with shiny makeup, and I was like, okay, like I'm not, like this is what this dress is for now. So, Cute. Yeah, so yeah, got some flowers, got some little props. Little, yeah, a little flower basket. Tell everybody a little bit more about yourself. Um, well, I am a portrait photographer mainly. I also am obsessed with couples um, and a little bit of weddings, but mostly portraits and like conceptual kind of ideas of things. Um, yeah, I really love flowers, obviously. They kind of play a part in everything I do. We're currently at a rose garden. Um, okay, cool. We're gonna shoot, so bye. <laughs> I look like a little bundle. Yeah, a little bit peep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably never look this cute again in my life. <laughs> what is the show called that everyone's obsessed that my mom's obsessed with? Victoria? Like no, that? Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> We're intelligent and beautiful. Okay, real behind the scenes though, look at these feet. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they smell good? That camera's bigger than your head. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we finished. So we achieved the impossible today. Look at the set. It's beautiful. If you can just see that skill right here. God, so... <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> that was the most transcendent experience of my entire life. Same. Oh my god. Peace out.